Queen of his favorites. I mean, they have a year record since last TI, not counting TI. Of course, it's 18 to 9 in game score. And overall, most of those series, of course, have gone in favor of Gaming Gladiators. I do think both teams, they kind of got what they wanted, but I think Gaming, they got more what they want. I think okay. this looks like a very strong group up draft. But Nisha, he's been, I mean, on his Amber Spirit, of course, he's been incredible. And looking forward to see how this one's going to go down because Brood has also been. Pretty annoying hero. It and has. It's been just, yeah. Yeah, versus Darkseer and Techies, it should be quite a bit easier because he's got the backup of the Lich. Pano mentioned it. Uh, this, you know, I think Lich and Rubik are the two that I do really like to see in response to Techies because you've got that instant disable. Catch him off the blast off. So should be able to secure some really solid farm. So maybe that's the situation where Mickey is actually a little bit slight ahead. Yeah, we're going to have some fun. These two teams, they played each other so many times this year in for a tree. I have indeed. Let's see if we, we get Gaming Gladiators has been able to take it all again or Team Liquid coming with this a successful challenge. Managed to take them down here in this grand final. Now best of five, you know, something that Gaming Gladiators got, have gotten rather comfortable with winning time and time again this season. Even just the upper bracket, I think Fear on the panel did mention it toward the end there. These guys don't lose once they start getting on their winning streak in that winner bracket, so Let's see. And it's going to be quite a test here for Liquid. Let's see if they oh, can yeah. get off early and start that advantage. Because I think that's exactly what this, li this lineup overall is looking for. Get a lead. Push that lead. Try to shut down Gaming Glider and take over the map a little bit. See if they get this first before they're actually looking for. Sure. Sneaky cat. By surprise up from the high ground. And then Harry. So he's got the two blood grenades ready to go. Indeed, with this position they're holding around the trees, super hard for, for Liquid to get to. The smoke dispels and Boxy knows they're up there. With that in mind, Liquid unable to make the approach that they would hope for. Gaming yeah, Gladiators, they, they, they knew it was coming. Liquid already putting down some... I mean, that ward might actually just counter pretty much immediately. That's already been paid, yeah. Right under Gaming's vision. Oh, oh, God, it's a good of... angle with that flame break. Kind of tanky. Doesn't want to dive the tower, though. At this point, make it far too risky. <laughs> A bit of poke damage, tofu. Perfectly fine. So they don't get tofu, and they will indeed lose, uh, almost certainly lose that observer ward. They're definitely gonna. They pinged it out, they knew what was going on. In terms of the bounties, oh, they just end up spinning the two for two. So yeah, let's see how some of these lanes go down. Uh, as, as you said, you would imagine Jug and Lich should be pretty solid top. Sure. Maybe down bottom, the yeah, on the TB feels a bit of pressure. And then the mid matchup, oh yeah, well, we'll see who was sort of correct with the, uh, the way they drafted it out, because clearly both teams very happy to have these two heroes go head to head. Missing a last hit there, a free one. As we've seen in the past, it's been it's been timber dominant, especially when Quinn has been playing it versus these Ember Spirits. He's phenomenal, just taking advantage of it, and that's where there could be difficulties, even at these lanes and stuff like that. You know, if Liquid does come ahead, that's where Quinn can just break that, right? Because he can make moves to these lanes, to that Brood's lane in particular, attack like, the tower to, to make sure that the Tower Blade Daracho is able to. Get. This disruptor pick is cool. I like the point that Brian made quite a bit on panel two. I was looking at quite a bit of history of when they do pick it. Gaming does not pick this hero that often for Celery, but when they are playing versus these heroes that can sneak up the padding in particular versus this Brood versus the Bat, that's when they do like to have it. So it's cool, because then they also, they rounded it together, right? They made the disruptor look even better when they throw in the darks potential of the vacuum combos. Absolutely, yeah. Great team fight provided just between the two of them. They're also just great chase and catch. If the fights start to go the way of gaming gladiators, they can easily combo it into server. Very hard for the liquid to escape from a bad engagement. Yeah, and maybe this Kick off. maybe this top lane isn't gonna be as easy as expected for Mickey, because he does have a Lich who's a very, very strong hero, but Techies really is just that threatening. And I do see that Senior, he actually took the frost shield immediately at level two. See, he's got it's gonna be first blood for Duraccio down here. Good catch from Celery with the kinetic field, and there's enough time for the two of them to right-click him out of the game. Duraccio Terrorblade. One of the few Terra Blades, I think, in this tournament that is having, having just still the same success that it usually does. I think most of you were talking about how it's been struggling more than they expected. Low, Liquid, with the Liquid Voxy's death is actually going to take away the Water Rune from Quinn. Quinn is actually going to be put a little bit more on HP here for the next moments. Yeah, definitely seeing, uh, I'm seeing Mickey just get, he's getting poked. Power of the techies, the poke. Yeah. So now I'm bottom again. Zai, attempting to get to Duraccio, but okay. Duraccio is fine. Very hard for kind of Zai to, to sort of threaten Duraccio on his own. It's going to take a few levels to come out from Boxy before they have like that magical damage that may be able to pressure and threaten the, the Terra Blade even when he's under his tower. Boxy's actually just going to start pulling away. Maybe he blocks this small camp too. I feel like just having the small camp available for Celery to reset lane position never feel good. It never feels good for Zai. Yeah, it's going to get he's locked. 
Mid lane. Oh goodness, they're oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> And uh, Nisha underestimated the damage that Quinn would be able to do to him and the amount of damage Quinn would be able to survive through. That is a uh, so unfortunate death there for Nisha on the mid. I mean, that's... And Quinn's going to hold the range creep there. Now that's yeah. bring a health. And that was actually with the TP coming in, where they stole the water room away from him. That was him without any extra little refill. He just stands toe-to-toe -to -toe versus Nisha. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, I mean... That's it, not it, a person it, you want to give the kill to. No, he, he pushed for the risk of, uh, to, to try and get that kill in the 1v1. And now that he didn't get it, it means that he's never going to have that opportunity again. No. Yeah, Ring of Health out, two points in the reactive armor. He's Quinn, he's never dying in this matchup. Nope. Nisha missed the opportunity. And Top is free farming. You know, Ace, he is getting that really, really solid farm with Tofu just harassing behind him. Not able to get any type of slowdown onto this. The Jug is farming nicely. But I've seen what I've seen what Ace is able to do when he gets Radiant off to a good start as a Dark Seer. Yeah. He occupies so much. He actually just plays farming. He gets Vanguard. He takes over the, the top part of the map. Not the actual, like, creeps. He'll pull some creeps into all these neutral camps, because there's so much for Darkseer to farm once you get an advantage like that. Try and make a bit of a go, but every time Surge is there, very hard for, for Lich and Jug to, to get away with the successful moves, and now Mick Egg. I'm surprised oh. Insania put the point in this rush. No. It just doesn't do anything ball. in this lane for him. It's all magic damage. Yeah, you have, if you catch them like really off guard, and you know there's no Surge and stuff, you can get that spin down with the slow, but most of the time that I've seen from these Liches versus like... Mackie, the they, they, they hold the point or they get the gaze, so I think that pays off for Insania. Right now they're just getting freely harassed. Healing Ward is doing wonders, but have to be careful with that. Radiant's sure. middle tower is under attack. Yeah, at the least, you know, as, as long as they're able to hold the wave around their, their tier one tower and stay close to, to that, they, they shouldn't die shouldn't in, in die. this top lane. But that means you're not getting kills on Ace. Yeah, you're Darkseer, not pressing this Darkseer. Darkseer is one of those heroes where it can be a little bit of a feast or famine. You could just... Sometimes you just don't get off to a start at all, and you're just dying a bunch of times. It takes you some time to cover. This is this doesn't feel like it's going to be that for Ace at all this game. None of those are always really early. Insania making the move. Let's see if they can get the, the kill onto Duraccio. They can. They get the flame break knocked back into the Radiant's Firefly. Bottom yeah. tower is under attack. Yeah, they'll be able to take him down. So come, oh, put some pressure on. So that's the benefit, I guess, of the Frost Shield, too. If he does want to make some rotations diving to the bottom. Diving. So, okay. Cool with that if he makes those type of moves on his of course, any moment spent away from that top lane does continue to mean that Ace is, is going to have the freest time ever. Front Darks here with the lineup that... Oh, Nisha might just be dead. Level 6 has been hit by Quinn. He's in with the Chakram. Nisha will be able to keep his distance from Quinn. Radiant's still going to be a bit careful. I mean, Quinn's still got a bit of mana to play with, so both Insania and Nisha have to be cautious. Our rune's going to be coming up soon. Nisha's just going to try to run to base. Can the supports deny this rune away from Quinn here? Playing. It's not, not seeming a lot of fun for Mikkei. When he got the healing word Did immediately. Able to snipe him. Now he's in with the jump. Mikkei is gone. Generation. Mistakes made on the top lane. Mikkei left on his own as I mean, Insania sort of just trying to help everywhere else out. Goes down towards the bottom, comes over towards the mid. He's leaving Mikkei on an island and, and an island of pain as, as he's dead. He's out of that top lane as uh, yeah, Ace continues to have, probably have a huge smile on his face for how well this early game. He is. is Absolutely free farming, Owen. That is a concern. This jug. Oh, oh is he gonna? Oh, I mean, he's gonna play pure. Okay. He's gonna be. But he's gonna lose his courier immediately, and they might. They can die. They can off force this. Go for it. Tell. Someone's gotta come up. They're bringing two supports. Yeah. They they have to. They've gotta they've gotta bail Mickey out. Mickey out this situation. He's not been having a, a fun time at all. They'll turn towards Ace. Ace is able to get the three-man vacuum up, but he will die. But Mickey. And they get Mickey. Nice pull. He's gonna have glimpses in a second celery. Uh, he's got him with a glimpse, that should do it. So they'll lose lives themselves here if Gaming Gladiators 2 go down. They get the chain. They'll lose the third as Nisha swings across chains to cancel the TP of Celery. They get the three of them, so Liquid as a whole will be happy. Mikkei, maybe not so much, as he's dead yet again. Oh man, don't want this Jug to get slowed down. This is a hero that you want to be able to have that good pace versus the Terra Blade. Sure. TP, I mean, Duraccio, yeah, he dies the once, but this hero, it farms much more naturally than a Jug who's struggling in laning phase. I mean, well, oh. to the point where, you, you, overall, you, you feel the gaming gladiators losing the three heroes there Radiant's to kill the Jug as soon as the Jug returns attack. isn't actually that bad. It doesn't feel that bad. They're like, whatever, we, we just killed your Jug tr twice in a row. No, I mean, it's... recovering, Mickey. At least they got kills, but I mean, Mickey, yeah. now it's like, where is he? He's going to have to just jungle a bit here in Duracho. He can actually come top of the tower. They can take this tower, I yeah. think, yeah. And mid, Quinn, he's also going to start pressuring this tower, too. So Liquid getting pulled Radiant's apart a little bit here. Zai, he is having the best time, though. So he's going to be able to apply some good pressure down bottom. And let's see which route he does go with his build since we've seen a lot of different variety. Top tower yeah, I mean, in, in a game that's kind of going like this when you know your carry is sort of struggling, is that more of an incentive to go for, for sort of the carry right-click brood build and build for yourself, or, or does it mean that you should 
go the aura route so you can make sure your actual carry is able to have a presence in the team fights. You know, what, what, what's sort of the, the thought process uh, as the offlane brood in this sort of game, do you think? That's a good question. I, I think because he has the Ember Spirit, he might actually just go down the order. So, we'll have to say, though. I think it's, for me, I've been, I've been having difficulty telling just in some of the games. Garantio turns up. Got to back off. Away from this one, he's just going to try and spend as much time as he can. Making the four of them chase him, but he will indeed be going down. Kill for gaming gladiators. I mean, that's four. That's, it was that's quite broken, then, but fairly even. Selling the six now. Quinn is, Quinn is tough for them to deal with at this point. Occult bracelet, 1770 HP. Very tanky. Yeah, they, they, they can't kill this team. They'll have to commit literally everything onto him and they must not even get him. They're going for the last one on the turn, but the static storms already will stop them from being able to push him for this. Nisha okay. turns, gets the remnant out, they're on full retreat now. Hopefully he dodged the glimpse there, I think, with a slight. They're going to go for Boxy. Uh, Ace even dropped the ball to try and catch him with the slowdown. Quinn's going to be able to head forward with the timber chain. Firefly's gone. Boxy will try and deny to the Ancients. They're not going to do so. Quinn will get the kill, and Liquid will get pushed back. Five, they are actually <laughs> trying to try to hit the mid tower. They're their lineup without the people not in these buildings, so. Nisha will at least get away because he dodged the glimpse there, but try to set up for something here. Again, they have to be. I mean, some of these fours are a bit too tanky for them to really deal with. Like Ace and Quinn in particular, they have to commit a lot. Ace doesn't actually have the mech just yet, so maybe they try for him. They'll go for the support first. Yep. Try and get rid of Celery before we can get the static storm off. He'll still get uh -oh. it down, though. Celery already easy nice for the static storm. They get a vacuum as well. They caught the two of them in, and Nisha, he's out. They'll get insane here as well. They try and go in Celery, but they, they couldn't catch him for long enough. The lasso didn't last and to, to a point Dyer's where he was anywhere close to dying. That was He very easily got the ult off on that one. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, that was quite I mean, strange. It's, it's Chill, I'm down. farming. I'm having a great time. I'm having got a great time. Yeah. Good timing on the Battle Fury off the top lane. Uh, yeah, Liquid, I think. Oh, no. Getting a bit too, uh, too aggressive. But Bye. they're going to catch him. He's trapped in the kinetic field. He's going to try and lifesteal up a little bit, but there's not a chance. Zai. This Quinn Timber is a problem. He's alive. He's out of power with the Sunder. Another attempt to move around these tier ones. It's just not going the way of Liquid. <laughs> oh, and every aggressive move is actually hurting them, it feels like. They, they, they gotta stop, you know, Mick is gonna Radiant be screaming at them. He's like, guys, can we calm down, please? I mean, he's getting, he is getting free far, but it feels like he's, he would be getting this free farm anyway. They're trying to go for points, but my game is prepared for it. Nisha. Literally down this tower. Um, he's actually, he's actually, actually almost got the space to get this tier one tower very low, I guess. Yeah, pretty good. For the way attention was drawn towards the top, so. Nisha? A Pavise. Usually they have a Pavise on somebody. They usually just build a lot of these like in orange and stuff like that. So maybe just watch this extra dispel. Okay. Insania. He's just going in looking for Insania. We'll get help back by the chains, but the vision's there for the glimpse back. Insania will throw out the chain front. They'll go for the last one to Ace. Ace is still up on the back. He will die. Good on me. Get the two of them. They get Ace and Tofu. They won't get Quinn, though. Quinn, perfectly fine. Quinn the Ace rune as well, running around. They should be able to get Celery also. This time it's gaming. They do. They That's get a good strike back from Liquid. Able to take the fight on their own half of the map, with it being gaming gladiators at this time to, to be the ones to go looking for action. And kill bounty is very important. Jug gets and indeed <laughs> not <laughs> surprised. Yeah. That's uh, that's pretty horrific. Yeah, Nisha will be having nightmares about that one. Chain Frost trying to push Dorashio away here. Radiance Middle Tower oh, bounced too successfully tower. though. They're boarding in on the spiders. This. Uh, Nisha can get any sort of clean up kills. The, the, the wall's going to be dropped down in the midst of it. They're looking at Dorashio. Dorashio still got a man to add asunder. He wants to play for you. Dorashio get a target. He turns toward Nisha. Takes Nisha's health. Zai fighting almost with a BKB. Dorashio go still. Terrible. They're pulling back the fear. Dorashio getting busted. Nice. Dorashio, he's going to live. The team there. We're playing them out. Dorashio splits out to the side of the fight. The worst proxy here on the side of Liquid. They're fine. Dorashio oh. getting the truth. Still fine. If it may be with the second round of play for you, okay. they can finish if they can. They'll finally be able to take Dorashio down. Zai lies stealing up on towards Quinn. They get the static storm down. He's going to trap in fact the three of them. What a score. Quinn is able to take down Zai and Nisha. They will pull back at that chakra. And Celery helps to turn the fight in favor of Gaming Gladiators to get the glimpse back onto Mickey. Play Fury back up, I think, for the third time. This fight will allow Mickey to escape. Wants blood. And he's chasing. He's surged up. He's running down the joke. The healing one's going to be there from Mickey. Mickey. He's got to consider how he's going to play his way out of this one. Frost Shield throwing it down onto him. Kinetic field again. Celery more control as they set up to take out the Lich. Mickey's kind of standing his ground. They still feel pretty beefy, of course, with this Sanjin Yashir on top of the Battle Fury. But you won't be able to get back in on the fight. Gaming Gladiators as they come out on top. Going to be heading over soon enough. They'll smoke up now around the mid. Yeah, yeah, this Roche is going down far too quickly. So Liquid finding a nice little opening. Yep. Very nice ball. 
The question is if Game Gladiators want to still take the fight despite Liquid having the Aegis, which they may do so. If they see people split up, Nisha shows top, but he has a remnant bottom. Dyer's middle tower. To start things with Durancho. He's not going to be the one to lead in first. He's under vision. They did see him there for a second. Have to spot Mikkei out to the side. Full butterfly just being delivered. Nisha's rejoined the team. Hex is done on Quinn. This Hex might catch them off guard. Liquid has to be careful how they position themselves here. Okay, HP. He's got his nullify complete, Mikkei. They've got both, right? Y yes, yes. Double nullify ready for the next fight on Liquid. It's gonna be nice. Okay. Versus the Glimmers and stuff. Like if, in that situation, right, in that last fight, if they get these nullifiers, if they had them versus the Glimmers, Duraccio might die way sooner. Yeah, yeah, Tofu and Celery have been doing a lot to get their calls out. Two supports, yeah, they're pretty farmed. And they're more, it's always the same thing for gaming, they're more about the true support kind of itemization. It's a backrider on Liquid, so you can see if they strike with that timing here. I think it's when Duraccio probably has the satanic that he might look for engagement. I th how many Wisdom Runes has actually Duraccio gotten? I think he's gotten... I know at least two, but I feel like he maybe have gotten even a third one. He's been grabbing most of them this game since he's playing on the left sure. left Ancients. I mean, regardless, now, Mikke, he's the one that's uh, easily two and a half levels ahead. The buff. He's got his Allen. Super high level Jug. Yep, he's got the Blade Dance talent now. I mean, this is going to be very important for standing his ground against the Terra Blade in the middle of the fight. If he's able to get those Blade Dance Live Steel procs. Even versus the Timber Saw in some situations too, if he's able to just stand there and auto-attack, it would make the difference. Winston, Winston is still super far in bow. <laughs> Continue to be neck and neck with a Timber and a Jug. Still getting his absurd scaling. He's got the 20 talent too. This talent is crazy. I don't know why this talent is. 20% magic. Why? Why? Why is this? Why is this magic? Yeah, very, very close to having the Shiva's got on top of that. Was just at 800 gold yeah. away. And then they're probably. I was checking to see if anyone's going for like any Lotus Orbs or anything like that. It's a pretty value game versus the bat, versus the jug and everything. If they do want to go down that route, but I mean, Celery's got to build for himself, right? You, He's going to disrupt. Uh, yeah. You go with the Agonims. You have Darcy on your team. If you have Darcy, yep. it's like a oh, yeah. five X more that you want to go for it. And how, how far is he in on those? He's got the goal to be about halfway through uh, his Agnums right now. They're Playing around the power rune here, Duraccio camping it. I didn't see which one is the next one that can come up. It's an illusion. That's an illusion. Never the worst one by any means. I mean, it could, it's definitely going to make Quinn a yep. little bit harder to catch and kill. Yeah, the hex, they, they got the opening half, they got the burst, they get the vacuum back to the wall, but still Mickey's going to put the blade for your step back to right. Oh my god. They nearly bring him down, but the healing ward there as well as the frost shield. Mickey will live. He's kind of lucky to get out. Flips. They want to go back in on this. They smoke up here, Liquid. Dying maybe see if they can get some sort of way back in the fight. So I had to put the BKB there rather early. Yeah, to avoid getting caught. Limbs caught him. That was a glyph. That that's not the tier two glyph. Just an FYI. That's the uh, that's the tier three glyph that they, they ended up using Dyer's trying to hold this tier two here. Shift camp gladiators can push for more then. We lose the t-shirt. We'll be able to get the glyph back into the head. Got the remnant. Okay, can do anything here. No, he's having to run. I mean, has got Omni stash. They're, they're still kind of hovering away that they want to get back in because Foxy has the lasso. Here comes the Omni slash. It's going to do this about it. Oh, Durancho! Oh, oh my goodness, is he going to get away with that? He he's save his going to down. Three. What? I mean, I mean, he really yeah, wanted to save him, I guess. He really wanted to save Celery. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, fair, you know, Celery's been having a great game. I mean, bless him. He, he just didn't want to see his mate die. I mean, he wanted um, to do the satanic play, but I they just got so. on top of him. Oh, not well. Set up around it. Huge op opening here for Liquid. Just going to continue to play around the bottom side. Yeah, one yep. minute till that, and they're just going to stick around here in this area. Boxy potentially even making, looking for an opportunity with a lasso. Omni slashed up in 20, and Ags is coming now for Mickey too. Gaming set up in the area. They might get caught off guard with the vision. They're bringing, okay, they're bringing the squad. They want to fight again. Got their meta available. comes in from Boxy. Nisha steps in with the BKB, but has to back away from being close towards Duraccio. Duraccio with the Metamorphosis, punching hard back at the two of them. The Chain Frost gets thrown out, but Quinn Timber chains in, takes down Insania. Liquid's got to run, and this is going to be around Roche soon. Nisha, he's hard to see him. He's but indeed they found him. He's out of Remnant. He's got nowhere else to jump. He's going to strive for the slight TP. It was a good effort, <laughs> but not enough units for him to continue to be sliding around to buy time for that TP to go off as Nisha, he'll die. He's out for 70. And that's the Roche. It's going to be up in 15 seconds seconds gaming hit perfectly there i mean they they, catch they, they with a three-man vacuum all just under the ward right yep liquid they're up on the cliff they, they just didn't check for it yeah have full vision of them gaming gladiators they knew exactly what was coming 
I mean, they also just deleted oh, somebody, right? I Boxy died. I didn't even see his HP pool drop. He just died instantly. Quinn just got the full burst on him. And that's gonna set them up now for this rush. Yeah, they're gonna see it in a second. Yep. Uh, indeed. Really fast. Perfect position to go for it. Gracho, he'll head back over to help out. Back and forth we go. An opening there from Liquid from before, and Gaming say, no, 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 no. Got our ult now in this fight. Get the big connection, and yeah. besides just getting a Roche now, Celery, Agonim is about to be done. The Wombo combo gets scarier and scarier. Get that Philosopher's Stone back in. Uh, extra little bit of gold. He wants the right click damage to the Roche. Yeah, he wants because Philly removed your damage. Oh, yeah, because... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is fun. <laughs> That's not got any damage. <laughs> yeah. Liquid, they're looking to strike, I guess, because everything's on cooldown. I wants to go. Static Storm's up. He's going to go straight for Celery. And then the Ogre Seal turn for Celery. Jumps off the side into the lap. So they get rid of the Disruptor without Disruptor being able to get his ultimate off. Dracho, he's taking a pretty much a full honey slash between himself and the Illusion. Getting pretty low hit. Relap back him into the wall. Dracho attempting to heal up with the Satanic. Towards mid game, they get popping the BKBs, moved in on towards Ace, they're taking out the Darks here. Double buybacks coming out from the game, and Gladiators and Goose to Claws. They're on Celery again. He's untouchable, they can't kill Quinn. Celery, this time, able to get the static still on Nisha with the BKB, and that'll slide at He's cut down, and he's cut down for the second time. The Duracho Quinn still standing strong. Him with the slashes. Duracho, still down in the second. They still haven't been able to take the Eaton's Terror Blade down the once. They will. How is your life? He's healing up. He's healing up. Now he's gone. But he's going to be back for a second life, and he does still have Satanic Good to pop. Quinn. It's got five heroes. And Quinn's got to come back in and help out. He's looking back over towards him, Duracho. He's caught by the fear. He's able to survive against the four of them. Oh, better. better, but he's gone. They got the damage, Quinn. He tries to bail out of here with the TP, and he'll manage to escape. But what a fight for Liquid. I mean, Liquid, you see how low some of them got, Zai. Getting as low as ever in that fight, but they will take it. I mean, playing around cooldowns, right? They're like, they don't have meta, they don't have Static Storm at the start of the fight. Actually, Static was up, but Zai, he got on top of, he got on top of Celery. They're starting to yeah. master micro brood stuff. We're just scouting with spiders, giving all the information in the world. Radiant. Because he, he, he was sort of like attack. 2 2 15 or something, and now yeah. it, it, it's been the four deaths the last few fights. Because Liquid have found it. I'm gonna go for this push top. Tier 3 starting to take quite a beating here for the two C creeps. Deal with that. Nuracho getting the lane shoved in with illusions. Bottom and mid also taking a beating liquid. They kind of have to react to this. They'll send Nisha. Dyer's middle tank. Got to travel. Attack. I was gonna say he doesn't have remnant now, but he does have. He does want to come afterwards. For attempt different game of gladiators. Out the base they go. Scouting. Who can they catch? Who can they jump? Our buybacks looking. Quinn is 50 gold away from it. I mean, I think the big one that's uh, not available is Nisha's right. Yes. Nisha gets jumped and they're able to kill him during some sort of static Radiant storm that, that may scan. catch him with his axe static storm pre BKB. Nisha could be in trouble. Positioning is going to be crucial for Celery. Look where he has to stand because he doesn't have a blink dagger. He has to be like right behind Quinn for the catch. Side, they've ever put the link of Squin, he's in with the Shiva's guard in the head. Comes the guy out of the side, Boxy Punch the Beacon, he's gonna try and go over Walk Dratcher. Now they look at the back line, jump off and he's just there, find Celery, straight over. The Walk's in his truck, he's got the chain, but Celery's able to get the Glamour Cape off. On the stats, he's there over Walk's head, but it's still alive, Celery's able to get the static storm down. They're back in the front, Nisha, he's all for Gordon, the edge of it as well. Dratcher's still fighting, but the Hex is down, and Nisha, he's dead. Three gone on Liquid. It took too long, they took way too long to get Celery. They, they, you know, Nisha sort of went all in on it, but I think sort of around the Glamour Cape, and so they, they just didn't have the Detection to finish him off in time. He gets the ult out, and that static stop, it secures them the two big ones in particular. Mikke and Nisha gone. As I mentioned before that fight, Nisha, he spent he up. Spent he his does goal. not have buyback. Duraccio and the rest of the remaining survivors on Gaming Gladiators they can go straight for the high ground push. I mean, they're pushing mid and they're pushing bottom. Liquid has to buy back at least on the lift. They probably are going to have to buy back even on Mikke unless they just want to sacrifice their sets here. And then there's Insania's buyback. Of course, throughout this all, Insania never spent his money. He did it. He was sitting sort of, sort of, sort of about sort of three and a half thousand, and now he's got back down to two point seven k. Never Die. spent anything. Got him with the hex again. I mean, Insania's trying to force him back to the base, but they catch him. They killed the two of them. Neither of them were buyback available as well. This is going to be a huge opening for Gaming Gladiators to take at least one set of red, probably two, maybe even start to threaten the game as well. What a fight from gaming. Only one hero was able to get to the back lines to try to go for Celery, and it, just, it wasn't enough. And not, look how much they might actually just lose everything here. They might. They're Mick is trying to hold his buyback. Yeah, I mean, as you can see with the money, Zai, he's 170 gold short of his buyback. I mean, this Senior Force just it. brought back. The tier fours exposed. They've got this little bit of time in the glyph. Oh, Duracho wants to end. He buys a full refresher. He wants his meta back up. He wants to get the push. He wants to at least get the megas. At least megas. Because I, I don't think they'll be able to quite end unless they can kill these heroes off again, because we're going to see. 
Giants. Both Mickey and Nisha back in action. So that if we have a fight with the three of them, it's still going to be a three versus five. So it won't be easy, but there's a little chance that Liquid may be able to push that Game of Gladiators into the four. It's mega style already. It's a lot. And he doesn't even have to use his meta 15 They're seconds. They're going to play. Up. They'll, they'll back off Game of Gladiators. They got all they needed. Jesus, Quinn. That was a big, big push, big play. He has not died this game. He has been the leader of the charge for his team to protect his buddies. Level 25 was hitting that last fight too, so he is pretty much a carry also on this Timber Saw, as he already has been. And the game's totally broken now for Liquid. They have yeah. to just have, they have to get Roche and they have to have some insane next couple fight. Trying to leave the base, Boxy. Maybe fine tofu farming the, the neutral camps, but bombs. They scout him. He's got a shield where he wants he, to run he in. He can just go straight in. If he wants to. I mean, there's nothing that's uh, going to threaten Quim right now. Unkillable right until the end, it seems. That's what we can make of this. Creeps are building up. And Mickey knows he can't show. He has to stay under Ninja gear because they could just jump him and full kill him. He's now picked up for Celery. Yeah. Yeah. Him and Ace. Him and Ace can end it. If they get the, the correct jump. Ace. Things. Never get in there. Get the opening hex on the niche. And Nisha needs help. They've got any way to bail them out. There's no nope. one. Tower wave. He's gone. Boxy will come in with the BKB Lasso on the Celery. They desperately want to kill this disruptor. They've got the full of hex this time. The full man is the aesthetic stop. But there's the buyback. Celery's going to look to rejoin the team. Nisha, he'll buy back as well. They're trying to stand their ground against the right your direction. Getting three loads over Celta Ace. Gets some help back up to pretty much full. Turns to take down Zai. Zai's out without buyback. From the fourth, and Nisha will take the first eight ladies. He's back up to full HP. Nisha cannot kill off the darks here. Nikkei's got to play Fury back to base. Nisha will have to play Wave as well. Nikkei, he's going to get dragged back underneath Duraccio. He's out. No buyback on him. Hits on to Nisha. Gaming Gladiators with the full clean up of the Axe. Static Storm locks down the Ember. GG is called. Gaming Gladiators will take this game one. They just keep on doing it, Owen. How do they just keep on doing it? This one, Liquid, what, 12k? Seems like they had a chance. One fight.